welcome walks at you to the uh, critics corner i'm andrew branca reporter and film critic with the walks at you sun and i'm with i'm matt swafford matt swafford here uh also film lover critic uh hollywood guru <laughs> and all sorts of other neat stuff here uh today we are kind of taking a little bit of different of a twist in the corner and not talking about a film that is in theaters, but it's on Netflix. Uh, it's called The Highwaymen with Kevin Costner and uh, Woody Harrelson. And it's about uh, the men that tracked down Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, and their part in history and what they were involved with. Your thoughts on the film, Matt? Um, I thought this was a pretty good film. Like, uh, I mean, it, it was a film like I thought would probably be in theaters if it was a, you know, if it wasn't made by Netflix. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it definitely had a lot of that semantic quality to it. You know, it, it's it's kind of sad in a way because I love going to the theater and love that experience. You get your popcorn, you go through, find your seat, and huge screen and everything, but. More of that experience is being shared on love seats and couches across America and globally. I mean, that's I guess that's where that's headed to the next evolution of of uh, entertainment, film wise. Yeah. Um, but you know, I thought it was a a really well written movie. Um, it, a lot of times, I think we were kind of talking about it earlier, but Bonnie and Clyde have become kind of um, glorified in American history as and and folklore as kind of heroes in a way and it, it was definitely told f without that tint or filter on that yeah the, what, what was your thoughts on that yeah they definitely <laughs> played into the um, or not played into but uh, they kind of showed the the people's reaction to Bonnie and Clyde and um, how they were kind of just the Hollywood, uh, not even Hollywood, uh, they're kind of like the popular spectacle of the day. But basically they were, they were celebrities. Yeah, I mean, celebrities. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, celebrities. <laughs> and you know, it's interesting. You also got to look at the time period too. I mean, they're, it's 1934, uh, people are just still recovering from the Great Depression. Uh, you have these work camps all across the United States. People are still struggling to make ends meet. And they have these two people that are essentially taking out the man. Banks, government people, people in authority. And you have people that have lost essentially everything. And they, they look at them like, man, I wish I was that person. And I think that's why history has kind of treated them... In, in a way that is a lot more kinder than they actually should be because they were murderers, thieves, and that's who they were. They were bank robbers. They didn't care. They acted like they did, but they they were murderers. <laughs> yeah. I think at the time, um, you know, people bought into it because they were robbing banks and banks were federally insured, and so it wasn't really stealing their money. It was stealing the government's money. Oh, definitely. They're not kind of like a Robin Hood esque type yeah. type deal. Uh, once you know they're giving stealing for the rich, giving to the poor. Yeah, and I think this film did a really good job of kind of uh, showing the other side, the law enforcement's view of it. Why do you say that? Well, uh, um, I'm <laughs> not real sure, but just points throughout the film, mm -hmm. like. They kind of show the people's view, and then the law enforcement come in and tell you, "Yeah, but you know, did you know this? They just shot a guy point blank in the middle of the road. Yeah, you know, tell me that's, or you know, tell me to my face they're still good people." Yeah, I totally get that, and and you also there's several times where they do that kind of perspective. They they show the lawmen and then they show 
it, they show the woman in the distance, but then they show the crowd and the common man reacting to Bonnie and Clyde and their celebrities, and you just, you see that, that distance with them, and it's just, they, they just can't stand that their colleagues, people they know, innocent people are getting killed, and yet they're being placed on this pedestal. And I, I definitely think that that side is a little bit more representative. You look at the um, Bonnie and Clyde film that was shot here in Waxahachie in the 60s with uh, Gene Hackman and the movie. It really kind of glorifies them as these noble outlaws. And, you know, that's, that, that's not always the case. Yeah. And... I'm not saying that Hollywood gets everything right in every single film they do. They kind of don't. Um, and this I'm film sure had a had a few mistakes along its way too. Um, just for the sake of moving the story along, a lot of films do that. But I think that um, this felt more real than any other Bonnie and Clyde movie, apart from a documentary that is out there currently yeah yeah it definitely uh, felt like it told a different side of the story than what you normally kind of see with a Bonnie and Clyde movie on a scale of one to five how many stars would you give this I give it a four I thought it was pretty good I'll, I'll, I'll go with you on that one I'll give it a four as well so that will be it for uh, this edition of the Critics Corner. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or have a suggestion of what you want me to see at the theater, uh, please shoot me an email at andrew at com. And uh, y'all take care now and see you at the theaters.